Hey all, Matthew from The Culture Project, and I think it's time that we are honest with ourselves. Do you want to be chaste? Chastity, the virtue of relationship, it allows us to see the human person first and foremost in any relationship. It allows the beauty of each person to be respected and seen, allowing for a space of freedom for a person to be known and loved, where their value is not determined by convenience or what he or she can offer. Hopefully, resources like The Culture Project have gotten you excited about the idea of chastity. And if they haven't, honestly, this video is not for you. But if they have, you need to know something. Much like anything else worthwhile in this life, you're gonna have to work for chastity. Chastity is freeing and beautiful, but it is difficult. And that's why we need to start being honest with ourselves. Are we willing to work for it? There is a reason why our culture is broken in the way that it is. Lust is easy and has been made infinitely easier in today's isolated and technology-filled world. You very well may have been living a lifestyle contrary to chastity for years before you heard of anything different. And I don't say this to judge or condemn, but to be honest with you. I was right there with you. Years of habits built up before I heard the truth of a healthy and flourishing life. Today, I am still struggling alongside you, but don't take that as a discouragement, but rather as an invitation to keep on fighting. Don't think that you have to be perfect in order to start loving. We can all love in our imperfections, but we need to be realistic about what we need in order to succeed. You're going to need help in growing in chastity. You need to be having conversations with people you trust about past struggles and current pitfalls that you face. If you're in a relationship, you need your significant other to be on the same page with you. You need to start having those conversations. We need to be open about our desire of chastity. Don't worry, it doesn't need to be weird or forced or anything like that. When I started dating a young woman last year, we were watching a TV show neither of us had seen before. It was still at the beginning of the relationship and I didn't know her very well. So I just simply stated, hey, if this show gets raunchy, I'm not comfortable watching it. That simple statement opened the door for a gradual conversation that allowed us to figure out what chastity needed to look like in our relationship. You don't need to be radical all the time, but you do need to be honest all of the time. As you grow in relationship, that love and desire for each other will continue to grow and you're going to need to be more vigilant to make sure that you stay committed to the gift that chastity can offer. And at the end of the day, don't be weird unless you have to. Don't carry the shame of past mistakes because chastity should be freeing and bring joy to the two of you. Relationships should be fun and beautiful and chastity makes that possible. I hope today that you choose that freedom. Hey, thank you so much for watching. If you're looking for more resources on this beautiful message, hit subscribe, get more of our videos, and check out our website, thecultureproject.org.